All right, why did he make that rope for us? Interesting. Evac points. We're down here. So I guess those are the two evac routes. But we're following this path here for some reason. I don't know why, but we are. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. I guess I go up here. So, I mean, is this where Ned was hiding out and now he's moved on? We're going to see where he was hiding out. Trail closed. Improvised hatch. Open. Oh my, there's a hatch. Pile of trash. I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. Okay, he's been dumping trash up here for a while. Alright. Good to know. Don't report the hatch or anything. Don't report the hatch. Don't do that. Clothesline. There's a clothesline. Yeah. What else do you see, Henry? What else do you see? There's a tree. There's a rock. There's a fire. Alright, we're not going to open that just... Oh, can I not go past it? <laughs> That's not going to let me go past it. I guess I have to open the improvised hatch. Before I do that... Is there anything else to look at? They need to report on. Well, yeah, okay. I guess I can't go any further that way. Open the improvised hatch. Okay. Whoa, neat place. Cool. Thought I saw something on the ground right here. Guess not. I really thought I did. Aw. Wizards and Wyverns, a role playing role book. Oh. Yeah. Adventurer, your days of searching in magazines and dusty books are over. The player's handbook you hold in your hands contains all the wizards and wyvern spells, combat tables, and character classes you need to make a name for yourself in the sundered lands of the Ur-Dark. Be you a stout dwarven fighter or a willowy elf ranger, your quests rely on the knowledge you'll find herein. And because this guide carries Phaedrus' seal of quality, it has guaranteed compatibility with all Wizards and Wyverns adventure campaigns, quest modules, and one-shot epics. Go beyond the game only with Phaedrus. He held on to some of Brian's things. His Wizards and Wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Here's a Father's Day card to Rad Bad Mega Dad. Oh, it's kind of cute, right? Read to Rad to a Rad Bad Mega Dad. He, God. What? Nothing. Just some of Brian's stuff. Okay. I'm keeping it, man. Taking all this stuff. A photo. Alright. Um. Read. A photo of Brian Goodwin torn from a missing persons flyer. Huh. Okay. Brian was a nice looking kid. All right, let's hang on to that. Oh, that's a neat place he has here, or had. Uh, there's the teen magazines. He took those. So he's the one who... Well, it doesn't really mean it. He could have just stumbled across them later and found those. Doesn't mean he's the one who tore the camp where the girls were. Typed draft report. Research site info. Old typewriter. Report draft. Observation report. Subject, Delilah A, age 43. Observational traits. Reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Pertinent, observed facts. Never fuck. Okay. 
Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. She has nothing to say about that? Guess not. Keep that. Research site info. Research site info. How to break in. Ah. So it was a legitimate research site, but he was using it. I guess. Loose entrance. North fence. What you Staff return August 10th. To do. Return borrowed equipment. Erase. Henry and Delilah evidence. Leave no trace. So this was the soil grid. Remember the soil grid? And these are the monitoring equipment. This was the tent. He says there's an exit right here. An exit right here. I don't think I saw those. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I'm dead. Okay. Hanging on to that too. I don't know. What else we got in here? List of supplies. Another report draft. Uh, Henry Ems, age 39. Observational traits, guilty. Okay. Let's just keep it all. Why not? Ooh, wait a minute. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Just a minute. Hold on. Don't you worry. Here we go. Taking a picture of this mess. Oh, yeah. Going to get a picture there. And I'm going to get a picture of that. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then like, kind of like just an overview of the place here. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Using up that film. There we go. Report? Henry M. Observational traits keeps to the path. Passive guilty forthright. Pertin pertinent observed facts. No kids. Abandoned wife. 11 years married. Would not be missed if removed. Supervisor signed. God damn it. Okay. Another report draft. Delilah A. Alright. You sure did waste a lot of paper. Percolator. Oh, for some reason I could pick up the percolator. Examine. Uh, yep. That's a percolator. Drop. Plop. We've got, um... Sleeping bag from the teen's campsite. Maybe? All kinds of stuff here. We've got list of supplies. Winter needs 1989. 2,000 ounces of propane. Sounds like a lot of propane. One and a half cords backup firewood. 400 pounds of food. 100 here. 300 buried. Three winter jackets. Three new blankets. 25 box matches. 25 books. 90 amp hours battery power. Socks, socks, socks. New boots. Duct tape. Try elk skin. Summer weight. Gain goal. 35 pounds. Okay. Alrighty. What else is in here? A workbench. Electronic junk. Huh. You made a little wind chime there. All right, we can't report on the electronic junk, but we can report on the workbench. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Taking a picture. Here we go. Nice picture of the workbench. And click. Okay, I took a picture. Oh, let's take a picture. I don't think we need a picture of the electronic junk, do you? This looks kind of nice here. Ooh, more stuff hanging up. This is kind of nice. Oh yeah, I like this one here. Click. Oh, there's the tower right out there. Man, so he had a perfect view of the tower. I bet you there's probably a set of binoculars there. Workbench. 
disassembled stereo. All right, let's report on this. This boombox looks familiar. Oh, it's the girl's boombox. Okay. All right. Yeah, she doesn't care. She's like, what the hell are you reporting all this stuff for, Harry? Harry. Henry, there's a fire coming. Battery bank. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. <laughs> She's finally going to be like, I don't care. Get out of there. You're going to burn up. Beer can. Oh, he was the one who was drinking the beer. Huh. Radio log. Oh. Oh. What have we here? The complete radio log. Huh. This is, um... Before Henry showed up. Henry showed up on May 1st. See, right here. Whoa. Check all this out. Let's check this out. Let's check it out. March 14th, 1989. First ranger fly fishing at Jay Lake. Reminder, rainbow... Rainbows hitting cadflies. Okay. I guess he got some tips from watching this guy fish. Knew what bait to use. 24th. Saw Mama Grizz on morning hike. The 30th, rainy week, water stocks good. Smoking trout while hiker's gone. Aw. April 5th. Why would he say BG birthday? If his son is Brian, why would he say BG for Brian Griffin? Saw First Ranger of the Year. April 19th, haven't left base in two weeks. April 26th, three weeks, stir crazy. April 30th. Big hike tomorrow, cave. Okay, so we hiked to the cave on that day for some reason. So then on May 1st, new lookout in Two Forks. Henry at Two Forks. Saw Two Forks coming out of cave. D calling for hikers list. Delay her, she'll forget. How did he manage to delay her? Huh. Okay. Alright, let's keep that. Another radio log here. May 2nd, hiked to, I think it's Beartooth Point, severed radio comm. So he's the one who severed the radio comm. May 3rd, D never called for hiker list. Re-rigged Delano to pick up dual frequency. Can hear D and 2F concurrently. April, or May 9th, 2F hiked by cave. He seems less interested. So I guess he was worried about Henry finding or wanting to go in the cave. May 15th, Two Forks Jewels. Julian, Julius, this is when Henry had the dream that he and he talked to Julia on the radio. Julia on the radio. And then June 15th, this is 2F is a good guy. I wonder why he said that. <laughs> Haven't seen Mama Grizz in two months. The 30th, D drunk again. I wonder why he says that 2F is a good guy. Okay, look at this radio log here. Uh, June 3rd, get a room. Reminder, scout migration due to fire. Okay, and then July 15th, fucked up, do not want to leave. Reminder, hide supplies for migration. D and two forks, suspect consp conspiracy funny, if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Ideas. Um, start... Something. Start working on reports. Record all comms. Vandalize D's tower. Pin on 2F. Try to make remote recording device. I guess university research site. Move pit against each other. So these are ideas he's had. I, I still don't really understand why he, he's doing all this. Radio log. Uh, July 16th, stakes too high, no one will believe B was happy. Brian, I guess. Make Delilah and Two Forks less believable. Two Forks crazy, like wife, not a good guy. Mama Grizz is back. Same day, I don't know why I had to put the other date thing there. 
They heard me, fully believe there is a program. Use this. Same day. Reports final, make sure they find them. Same day. Two forks almost caught me at sight. Reports worked, recorded call, used for leverage. 17th, two forks found supplies. How? Key's gone. Can't let two forks find Brian. So he didn't want Henry to find Brian. But it seemed like... Huh. This is interesting here. There's somebody else involved, it would seem. So... I don't know. I, he, he staged all of this. He staged all of it. So it was just him listening in, that's all. Okay, so it was just him listening in. They heard me. And then he used their paranoia to create exactly what they believed was happening. Okay. That's right. I guess so that they wouldn't discover him. He was worried they were going to discover him, so he took he, he, he diverted them. He sent them on a different path. But this part down here, this must have been the day when Henry followed the wave receiver the first time and found the backpack that had the key on it. But he doesn't know how that happened. Hmm. Or maybe... Maybe he didn't expect Henry to get the wave receiver? Maybe he hid that backpack there himself, Ned did, and didn't expect Henry to have the wave receiver. I don't know. Stevens room. Howard Crothers Stevens room. Huh. Well, um if this is a reference to something else, I'm not seeing it. I don't I don't recognize this name or this book or anything. Um Yeah. Huh. Okay, let's drop this here. And yeah, just throw it on the ground. Oh, here's the ninth book. Here it is. Here's the ninth book. Nine lives lost. Here it is. Well, I can't keep it. And it's going to stay here. Because since I never could find the tenth book, I've lost interest in trying to collect all of them, sadly. Radio base station. Mug. What's, the, what's this mug? Oh, U.S. Forest Service mug. Okay. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Uh huh. Yep. He sure was. And here's a lawn chair. He had quite the view. You could see both towers. He could see my lookout. Yours too. Delilah doesn't care. Goodwin's view. Delilah doesn't care. She may be gone. She may have already left. Aw, oh, man. This is... This is bothering me. <laughs> this stupid book is bothering me. This... Uh, did I even... Uh, well, now what do I do? What, what is my goal now? My goal now is I can't even look at my map. Hmm. Oh, it would help if I press the right button. Hike north to thoroughfare lookout for evacuation. That's what we're supposed to do. Yes siree, that is what we're supposed to do. So I guess we need to... Um, go back the way we came. We can't just keep going this way. We go back the way we came and then probably supposed to hike up through Thunder Canyon and go up that way. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> I'm taking the book with me. <laughs> you knew I would. Even though I don't have the tenth book, well by golly, I'm going to have nine of them. In the in the freaking lookout. We'll just go back that way. It's okay. It's alright. It's not a problem. 
I'll go back this way. Can I get down from here? I don't know. I guess I can't. Huh, that's interesting. Can't go back down that way. Nine lives lost. Rappel down. I guess we're holding our book in our mouth, maybe. Long way down, man. Okay, go back this way. All right, let's rush back to our tower. We'll just drop the book off there for the next guy. And, um... And then we'll evacuate. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Man, I wish I would have got that tenth book in there. Makes me wonder how I could have done that. Because that book just disappeared, man. I guess... I don't know. If I hadn't picked it up that first time, I could have gone back and gotten it later, but... How was I supposed to know, man? So bummed out by that. <laughs> All the stupid things to be bummed out about. <laughs> I know, it's ridiculous. Give me a break. Alright, we'll run back this way. I know we should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Yeah. Oh gosh. Um Ned loved him. I think I think that Ned loved him. He still had his photo, you know? I don't want to hear it. He he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. Um... Oh, gosh. Yeah, don't blame yourself. Do Let's not be wrong. mean. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after him. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> D? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Alright. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think... I'm gonna go with them. What? You're not gonna wait? What? No, wait! Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting right now. Please. Henry, I don't... I don't want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay? I, I don't want to do that. I know that sounds harsh. <sighs> okay, I'll Who's she's gonna wait? I'm not far. Okay. <laughs> I'm not far. We're pretty far. <laughs> Because <laughs> I had to take this stupid book back. <laughs> there. There. There's your stupid books. There. One, one, two, three, four, five. Now they're all messed up. Six, seven, eight, nine. <sighs> so close. Wait a minute. I want to I wanna pick this up. Hold on. Hold on a minute. <laughs> hold, hold on. Okay, let's just drop this here. Can I pick this up and then put it back? Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Pick it up. Oh, come on. There. Move out of the way, stupid glass cleaner. Get out of the way. Yeah. Here you go. This is what we're going to take a picture of right here. My collection of books that I worked so hard for. 
Only missing one. They're not in the right order. They're not in the right order. I can't take this picture. Seven. Which one did I? Okay, seven. Six. No, no, no. Six. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on, seven. There we go. Now they're in order. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Click. Okay. <laughs> hey, Delilah, look. I collected nine of the ten books. 